I originally thought about my uh, major uh, back in high school. Um, my two favorite classes were my art classes and my math classes. And all of my counselors, my parents, were like, oh, architecture would be the perfect fit for you. And I didn't really know anything about it, but it was kind of like a gamble. I, I threw myself into it and I ended up loving it. I was around seven years old and we came to visit U of I because my grandpa came here for a while. And then after that visit, I just at that young age decided architecture. It was really my sophomore year when we start studio classes, when I kind of got into that studio kind of lifestyle and just really felt like at home and I could be here for a while. When I was younger, I had hoped to build homes for people, you know, a place to live, um, and then, you know, design furniture for them too. But I hope to maybe somehow expand people's minds, the way they think, help out people who, who aren't, who maybe don't have a home. For our spaghetti tower, um, right now we, we have multiple different concepts that we're trying to like work with. Um, we're not sure which way we're going to go yet, but we started out with a, the theory of the hexagon uh, because it creates six different equilateral triangles, which and triangles are the strongest geometric shape. So um, we started out with thinking we were going to have multiple different tiny hexagons and then kind of build it up. Um, but then as we built it, we realized we could just make one large one and have lots in between. So it kind of looks like a spider web. And so now our, our prototype um, is kind of looking like a, like a spider web in like 3D form. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the project or when, when I was hearing about it, especially because the last project was a little different and we had more control and I was looking forward to doing a similar kind of thing. Uh, but last night when we were building the prototype, uh, we started having a lot of fun. Um, the fact that we have three people on our team, I think has made us stronger, but we just are, we're just very cohesive, just the three of us. And I think if we had more people, uh, it would just be more ideas, more you know, schedules to work around, and I, I think it really works. I just was really happy to finish the project, and as long as it holds up at least two and a half pounds, I'll be happy. I'm, I'm hoping for five pounds at least. <laughs> um, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking we'll get at least five. I'm a little upset to see it all crumble. I'm sad to see it eventually fail, because we spent so much time on it. I'm afraid that one of the weights is going to fall on Marcy's foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to win like uh, creative points, because a lot of people liked how it, it looked. Um, I don't think it's going to win like structurally, probably about, I think, seven and a half pounds is where it's just going to go a couple of I don't think it'll, it'll fall forward like some of the other ones. I think it'll just crumble under the weight. It's a little bit shorter than the other ones, so we've got that going for us, kind of. <laughs> it's about eight inches too short of what you're supposed to have, but we felt like it represented us because we're all really short. So. <laughs> so we want to welcome you here today to the testing of your wonderful spaghetti towers. Best of luck to everyone, and thank you so much for your work so far. This tower is the one that was voted by you as the most creative. Uh, the appearance wasn't really in the design as much. We um, just wanted to think of, um, I don't know, a creative like structure that could like stand, and then through that concept, it became pretty. We were working in the same room as another group, and they were ahead of us the whole time, so we felt a little bit like an underdog, but it's okay. 